Good morning, internet. So it is a lovely Thursday morning here in Sydney. It is about uh, 7.45 a.m. And I'm going to, you guessed it, the gym. So I'm gonna do a chest workout today. Get those lady pecs on. And a lot of women are afraid to train chest because they think they'll lose their boobs. But um, no, if anything, training chest will actually like lift everything up, if you know what I mean. So um, if you're a woman and you're afraid to train chest, you should train chest. Okay, so I'm gonna take you to the gym today. I'm gonna take you through my workout and I hope you learn something from it or enjoy it. And yeah, I will see you at the gym. Okay, bye. So I'm also gonna show you what I eat today. So I didn't record this this morning because it was like 6 a.m. and still dark. Um, but what I had for breakfast was two pieces of this wholemeal sourdough bread with this peanut butter. And I also had coffee with almond milk and stevia. And that was my breakfast. So I always start my workouts with a dynamic stretch. You never want to do static stretching before you train because it can affect your strength negatively. So you want to do some dynamic stretching and then I just warmed up my pushing muscles, my chest and thighs, with 20 push-ups. And also, all of the clips in this workout are going to be sped up times two so that you don't spend like an hour watching this video. Some more dynamic stretching, rolling out my shoulders, and we're ready to go. Let's get into this workout. So I started off this workout with dips. I always do my hardest movement first so that I can be at my strongest. So I just warmed up with 10 body weight dips. Now that I'm all warmed up, I get into my working sets. So with each set of dips, I add more weight and go to failure. So I started off with a 25 pound plate and did that one for 10 reps. Next, I moved on to a 35 pound plate and did that for eight reps. So notice with each set, I increase the load and gradually increasing your load is what will eventually make you stronger. Next, I moved on to a 45 pound plate and cranked out eight reps, which is actually a new rep PR. And this was my last set of dips because I wanted to keep myself relatively fresh for the rest of this workout. So next up is bench. So if you know anything about me, you'll know that I am a total bro and bench is my favorite lift. So since I was already pretty warmed up from those dips, I went ahead and started out with uh, 95 pounds on the bar. And since I trained both dips and bench for strength rather than hypertrophy, I focus more on heavier weight and lower volume. So as I was saying before, in order to get stronger, you need to increase your load, which is either the weight that you're lifting or the number of reps that you do. So with each set on bench, I increased the weight that I was lifting and just went until failure. I did as many reps as I could. So my next set was 105 pounds for five reps. Next, I moved on to 110 pounds and hit that for four reps. And the rack on this bench was a weird height because the high one was too high for me and the low one was really low. So just unracking the bar took a lot out of me and I didn't want to ask for a spot because I am a strong independent woman and so by the time I was able to unrack the bar I was already pretty fatigued so I was only able to hit 115 pounds for two reps and that second rep was a struggle and that was my last set on bench so next I moved on to incline press and just like with dips and with bench I start out with a lighter weight hit that until failure, and then I increased the weight with each set. So I started out with 30 pound dumbbells, and I hit that for 10 reps. Next, I moved on to 35 pound dumbbells and hit that for eight reps. And with any dumbbell exercises, I generally like to aim for a eight to 12 rep range, but I'll usually just do as many as I can. For my next set, I used 40 pound dumbbells, and I hit this for seven reps, which is actually also a new rep PR, because just the other day, I tried 40 pound dumbbells for the first time on incline press and only hit it for five reps. So I was pretty impressed with myself. So something I like to do is when I'm lifting heavy, my last set, I will cut the weight drastically. So in this case, I cut it in half, and then it feels like nothing. 
So I went from 40 pound dumbbells to 20 pound dumbbells and I went until failure. And so I think I got about 20 reps here and that was just a really good way to burn out my chest. Next, I did one of the most alpha chest exercises, the cable fly. And I haven't done these since my bro bodybuilding days, but I thought I'd just throw it in for fun. And it also makes me feel like a badass because this exercise really brings out the chest striations. So now we are going to move into the calisthenics part of this workout. So I like to start out with lifting and then do body weight after. So here I am just doing some explosive push-ups and I'm using resistance bands to take some weight off to be able to do more reps. And with these, I am alternating the width of my hands with each push-up and I'm going until failure. Next, I'm moving on to clap push-ups. You can see I gave up on that front back clap pretty early on. But um, these are really great for developing explosive power, which is something that I really struggle with. So again, I just did a set of these until failure. Next, I moved on to these around the world push-ups, and I'm not sure if that's their actual name, but I feel like it fits pretty nicely. So with these, you want to lean all your weight onto one side, transfer it over, and then push back up. So it's a really good precursor to like one-handed push-ups. And again, I'm using the resistance band to take weight off so that I can do some nice, smooth, clean reps. So for my final set of push-ups, I did diamond push-ups, which focus on the triceps. So this is just a really good way to burn out your triceps at the end. And notice I'm not straightening my arms all the way. That is to keep tension in my triceps and really, really burn them out. So for my finisher, I did three rounds of one ring muscle up into max ring dips. And by the end of this, I was completely beat and I was hungry, so it was time to eat. So for my post-workout meal, I had mixed berries, plain Chobani yogurt, and coconut protein powder. After a training session, I like to have a good source of protein. So that is the Greek yogurt and the protein powder. And I also like to have some carbs. So that is the berries. And that was my second meal of the day. And here's what it looks like all mixed together. So fast forward a couple of hours later, I actually ended up going climbing after that chest workout. So this is my second post-workout meal of the day. And I'm just making some scrambled eggs and I use pasture-raised eggs, which are much more ethical than your commercial eggs. And actually one of my favorite combinations is eggs and peanut butter. But since I'm using the egg yolks and those provide plenty of fat, I'm just going to use PB2 instead of regular peanut butter. So I'm just mixing up some PB2 and of course I added too much water like I always do. So I have to thicken it up a little bit more and I'm just going to put that away for later. So I also need a source of carbs with this meal because I need carbs at every meal. So I'm just going to use some rice cakes and I'm just going to spread some PB2 on those rice cakes. And then I like to put my eggs on top of the rice cakes and PB2. And I know it sounds weird, but I promise it's actually delicious. So yeah, give eggs and peanut butter a try if you never have before. And here is the finished product. This is my lunch. I am not a chef, as you can see. So I am home from the gym and gyms and fresh out the shower. So I am not going to finish this full day of eating. It's not going to be a full day of eating. It's just going to be like what I eat pre and post workout kind of thing because I want to go edit this video right now and I don't want to wait for the rest of the day to film what I eat. So anywho, also I know I said I don't usually split muscle groups. However, I did start out as a total and complete bro when I got into fitness. So um, sometimes it's fun just to get back, get back into that. You know, once a bro, always a bro. So some, sometimes I like to bro out a little bit and just incorporate some calisthenics into it. So yeah, I normally train just like upper body, lower body, but some days, you know, I will do like a chest workout or I'll do like a back workout or shoulders or I always just do legs. But um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.